Hello Galaxy Heroes, uh, Mikey with my uh, most recent Grand Arena Championship. So, uh, so this one was a bit interesting. This one started off very, very nicely. Opted to go for my my Jedi uh, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, or AKA the Merc, as in Mercedes, just for his badge reference or whatever. Um, yeah, uh, it was a bit kind of, ooh, I hadn't seen this comp, so I get it. I mean, you know, it's got lots of nasties going on in it. It's got Sion, it's got Darth Nihilus, it's got Darth Revan, and of course you've got Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, and you've also got, I believe it was a Relic 7 uh, First Order Stormtrooper who's going to proc uh, assists because he's got the Zeta on it as well. Um, so I was more than happy when uh, we're down to just... Darth Revan, who then did an AOE and killed himself in 59 banners. So, there was one other Galactic Legend to face at the moment. Uh, that will be changing in the non to Well, uh, what, from the end of October onwards, I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to be facing uh, four Galactic Legends in some guise or other. Uh, but at the moment, yeah, uh, I screwed up here. I'll hold my hands up and, spoiler alert, this really, really does not go well. Um, I'd forgotten about the the Darth Malak factor in this comp and got locked behind the taunt and then it just went from bad to worse to worse to even worse to exceptionally bad. Okay, there's your spoilers all about this battle here. Um, I don't know what to say now actually. I've kind of shut myself down while waiting for the outcome of this so uh <clears throat> so what we've got actually is is uh, there's there's three videos here um we're coming up to the end of the first video which is uh my attempts at clearing the bottom node or bottom zone which as you've seen had the merc and um, I'm sorry, I still think that Ray is the most annoying tune to face. Uh, I just detest facing her and all this Olay crap that she brings, you know. So, like, uh, I, I face enough Rays every day in arena climbing, and I just get so frustrated that more than half the hits that I dish out register zero. Uh, yeah, it's just it is what it is um it's a fantastic reddit post um someone did humorous where ray's bitching about the fact that she can't even clear the heroic sif but, um there's no mention at all in there about all the ole crap that she brings um in grand arena territory wars and um just regular arena yeah yeah, so we're almost there. Come on, put me out of my misery. Do your crap. Again, so now we're into low lay mode. Not a damn thing that I can do. They're just going to stand here. They're going to take forever to do anything. Um, yeah, and then eventually she does that and boom, everyone's deaded. Lovely. Fantastic. Um, so, okay, so I played this, right. Um... I went to my war council and was told, yeah, yeah, you made the wrong move by trying your standard um, ray counter with Malik. Malik is a game changer as far as normal things go. Um, eventually, I'm going to wake up and actually stop hitting the unhittable. Again, you know, this is all the Olay crap. It really, really does my nut in. You know, it's a case of... I understand it, it's the mechanics that she's been given, but you know, in an attacking game where none of your attacks actually register, it's exceptionally frustrating. Exceptionally frustrating. You know, even with like you know, rain going up here or whatever, yeah. It's just like it is what it is. So um But Five O First are just gonna try and do what they can do. 
again, you know, we've got the, as I say, we've got the constant Ole crap going on. Yay. Uh, gas just isn't quite enough. Gas is incredible, though. No LA from gas. You know, he takes a hit and then he gives a hit. Um, yeah, sorry. I, I just, I, I'm waving my hands around to just try and get away from it. So, as you saw from my first attempt, I burnt what? I burnt Geon Ocean Brood Alpha uh, and I burned Th Thrawn in my first attempt along with my Darth Revan and thing. So, this is me now just seeing if I can get through with uh, Vader. And, um, of course, I don't have what to give the boosts up on here. And I've got to be honest, I'm not that au okay with the Piet, Pete, AP, Admiral Piet, whatever, whatever his name is. Dude in the uh, the Nazi attire in the, that takes the lead on this. I'm not that au okay yet with him how to get him to work. But um, yeah, yeah, we're just back into Olay mode, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, I just have no time for it. I mean, I have to have time for it, and I have to go through it. It's painful, um, but whatever, whatever. Really, really, could not give a flying fart anymore about it. She's one of the most annoying tunes in game and I uh, just going back to the uh, the reddit meme you know it, it's the fact uh, of what CG have done to it it's like yeah yeah but I'm sure we've got more of this to look forward to with um, oh, what's his name um, I don't know old Luke who's come in you know I mean, he's going to be absolutely blitzed and then you're going to realise he's not there. He's on, sat on an island projecting himself and, you know, you never would have touched him. But, yeah. So at least bounty hunters do touch Ray. Um, you know, five into one kind of does go, apparently. So let's do it. Let's get rid of, you know. So I'm not anti-Ray. I'm just anti-Ray on defence. I just... I, I, on the fence, it's fairly clean on that. Um, yeah, to be honest, I only really use her in light side, and it's quite annoying when in light side you still get half your tunes wiped out, even when she's doing her Olay crap. You know, what's that about? So, we, we you know, when we use her, we're not defended on that, but when she's used on defense, she is. So, yeah, again, you know, it, it's just the the ch the change around and all of that that I'm not using the correct language sorry I'm a bit tired but um, I just wanted to get this vid out so GG uh, GG can be can uh, GG I'm really on the fence I set my GG because he's kind of a uh, general grievous I'm you know it, it, it's a space filler for Grand Arena Championships of who do you set who do you hold back um, GG can get you a win or two. I mean, if he gets the older term meter trade or whatever going, then then it, you know possibly you could get a couple of holds. You know, I think it depends also on your 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 overall galactic power. Um, but yeah, there is. So um, I used my General Kenobi in the very first battle, if you recall, but he, he was the tank in that. And uh, I have relics, as you can see, or I think you saw, I have relics, Clone Wars, Chewbacca. <laughs> I just love the fact <laughs> that just let him build up any one hit, Grievous, that was, yeah hopefully I'm going to go back and get that shot and that will be the thumbnail for this vid because uh, it was just too too funny um, too too funny so yeah playing around here um, I'm in an R in I'm thinking really really need a tank in here um, oh sorry oh sorry sorry um, I'm 
So this isn't me being bored about my own videos. This is me just um, still in recovery from uh, the operation that I had and everything that went wrong afterwards. Um, so yeah, uh, sorry, apologies for the yawns. They're not, yeah, they're not, they're not intentional, but um, as I say, I wanted to get this video out, so. Yeah, that's what we're doing here. So this one, as you can see, started off really well. We're down to kind of like two and a bit tunes. I mean, C3 is going to go on the next AOE or as soon as comes out of stealth. Um, so now I'm just a case of, right, how many can I whittle down? If I can get rid of Red Boy or Mr. Red, that's great. So we're down to just the two tunes. Um, if I could get rid of Hux as well, that would be even nicer. But um, I think I've bitten off more than I can to chew. To chew. Um, and I'm switching around and allowing them to you know, heal themselves and, and everything else. Yay, well done me. So uh, this is another one. Um, at some point, I am going to start looking at the scores because um, I got quite a few holds on my defences. So this is the second hold that my opponent's got. Um, okay, so I'm annoyed here. I really, I, I wanted to get that the forces with me award by using Chira and Bays. I really should have dropped out R2. In fact, R2 should have gone in with the JTR squad and I reckon that would have been a lot better had R2 been in there and then with a tank or two. But, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty, isn't it? And uh, I'm just annoyed myself that I went for the uh, the undersized squad option here, uh, which I knew was a goer. Um, yeah, but yeah, anyway, it is what it is. Um, spoiler alert, I think I might win this one. Oh, okay. Ta-da, there you go. Yay. Yay, we did good, team. So... Um, so we've only got the one now left, the one squad left here, and I think I'm going to underman this as well and just go Sith um, because I burned my Darth Revan and Bastilla in my my go-to uh, ray counter. It still left me Malak. Again, in hindsight, maybe I could have held on to Malak and. Uh, used him to kind of you know one shot one of the other teams um but i didn't uh slapped it in here this one actually spoiler alerts uh this one gets a bit close i'm i'm glad that i got i think scion's up to relic five um i'm glad i've got him up to relic five and you know, when I've got the bits i think i might see if i can get him a bit higher than that i .e. max him out at seven because, yeah, we get him down to, what, he's he clinging on by one red bar. Um, I seriously need an AOE just through the, uh, well, just through the trailer lead. So Sayong managed to get a bit of healing going. And uh, let's see, can we get, yeah, we're getting him back into the green. And I need him to do his Hulk move and, um, and at least then be safeguarded. But as soon as Nihilus does his, um, his drain, of course, that puts them all back on on pretty much full health. Um, so now it's just a case of I know I'm, I'm targeting Droidica. Droidica is the main threat here. Um, Droidica gone. So now we can kind of you know not relax, but uh, next thing is just to to shut down Zalba so we can take out um, what's her name. The blue bird that keeps chucking all the grenades out. I'm just waiting for us to target her so I can tell you what her name is. Mission. Okay, did I forget her? It's a mission vow. So yeah, we just want. I, I want mission gone just because she's gonna eat into my uh, overall points tally at the end of it. Um, and of course, Newt's gonna do the same. Um, but I've got to kill Newt twice to to shut Newt down. Uh, let's get Newt gone at least once and then we can uh, focus on just, yeah, 
killing him the second time once we've dispatched Alba because he's going to go into stealth now so we've got no option but to Zalba but boom we've got Zalba Nihilus isn't looking too happy he's down in the yellows now but we should be able to do some hits and get him back up to health can we get him full health no but boom still get 57 banners so but it's, it's an undermanned squad that's why um, so yay cleared that which means that we're at now I've just got the ships so he's placed um, Grievous sorry Malev uh, the malevolence as um, his fleet that I've got to beat so at least we get to cover kind of how you you counter a malevolence um personally just talking i'm just waffling now so on as far as ships go um if i'm facing malevolence i go negotiator and if i'm facing negotiator then i go malevolence i've just found that that's kind of the easiest way uh, i've got to be honest mirror matching is if i can avoid a mirror match i do at all costs because they are awful as far as i'm concerned um yeah so we're just gonna chuck out plague here on this one and get them all deaded um i want to get rid of cold Horn as well and then vandor i just don't want vandor to get his ability so if we can take vandor out yay so the, all the revives are gone now and now we can just um yeah, try and take out the Viagra Han, who's doing lots of damage and managing to heal himself somewhat far too often. Boom, he's gone. So, yeah, Night Sisters FTW, 56 banners. Um, I think coming up to now, so I'm looking 14 14. So I've got one more squad to take out there. So 14 14. Click over to the ships. That's worth 153, is it? So I'm just now trying to work out the math. Uh, if I can get a decent 60 banners plus here, then I should be golden uh, as long as I can one shot. Actually, I, I, I've got, I think, as long as this is a clean kill, uh, I've pretty much got uh, a couple of goes at clearing the south rear squad that's there scoundrels is it i can't remember who it was now so here we go um so the idea here is first and foremost you want to get rid of sunfac sunfac stuns you do not want sunfac stunning your your squad it is going to put you at a disadvantage sunfac is gone i always think of this now as three card monty so basically you've got to get rid of that vulture droid vulture droid the one that starts so there's three ships in the starting lineup uh, you want some fact gone, you want the Vulture Droid gone, and then you can just bear down onto the Hyena Bomber, and that's going to take an absolute age just because it is as tanky as it is. It's a fantastic ship. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, even facing it, I think it's fantastic. I have no qualms. This is, you know, my only beef about ships is could we please have loadouts? Um, number of times i see people that are running a galactic republic fleet under a malevolence or the other way around they're running separatists under a negotiator uh you know if you're serious about ships and uh you know we have to i mean ships are even in the galactic legends requirements now so if they're in there pull your socks up um cg and sort us out with you know you've got all these new lovely tools or whatever give us loadouts in ships it's too long it's too too long so boom there we go uh, save that back 61 banners there so now that puts us up to 1628 it's 180 banners for clearing this this zone here which puts me on 1808, which means effectively I need 20 banners from this final battle. And with that in mind, 
I kind of I'm looking and thinking what am I going to run what am I going to run and end up running a very strange comp I think in, in quite a few ways um, I'm trying to validate why I actually um, opted for this one I think it was just looking at them all and thinking we've got quite a few tanks in here um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go new Dooku and then I'm going to go and have a look and see what I've got separatist wise and I've got a four geos to pick from so spy soldier and sunfac makes sense um, yeah so as soon as sunfac's taunting if dukes does his hide everyone um, some facts going to be there. Some fact has a a low percentage chance of counter or retribution, whatever we call it. Counter, I think it's called. Um, I say it's a low percentage because when you face a sun fact, it will counter every single hit that you make on it, whereas yours will do the occasional. Um, yeah, it's part of my uh, the AI and everything. It's like we went through ships earlier. Um, what you will find is if you are running a Galactic Republic fleet with the Y-Wing against a malevolent Separatist fleet, your Y-Wing will get ability blocked 99% of the time by the Vulture Droids. However, when you run your own um, separatist under malevolence uh, you'll find that that percentage drops to below 50% of the time even less than that where you will get ability block from your vulture droid on the y-wing doesn't add up anyway that's just that's just as an observation on that I've made uh, boom so now we've got two left now we've got one left so the uh, the hobble together has uh, what looks to be successful. Yay, we did it, team. So, managed to uh, post a higher score. I must admit, at the beginning of it, I thought I was screwed. Thank you for watching.